Welcome to College Prep with me. The time has come where I get to research college classes and do all the college things. So I am admitted to Brigham Young University and I'm just trying to figure out like literally everything that I need. I'm moving in January and so I have to figure out apartment. I need to go tour campus because I've been down there because Audrey went there but like I really don't know where anything is. I already got a car. I need to sign up for classes still and I need to get like all of the apartment things, you know, like decor and back to school supplies, all the things. So today it's mostly um, just tours and looking at the area down there, seeing what it's like. And I just figured I'd take y'all along with me so I don't have to do it alone. Yeah, this kid. We're so excited. <laughs> Oh, we're so sad. <laughs> we're so excited. I'm so sad. Jordan left us for a year and a half to go serve a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I was the only girl in the house for a year and a half, including the dogs. I was the only girl. Jordan came back, and she brought back a different atmosphere to the house once again, and now she's leaving me again. That's sad. That's like... Yeah, like I'm happy crazy. because it's part of life and it's part of like moving on and growing up and you gotta have your life and I'm happy that she gets to have her life and live her life but I'm sad for me. It is sad, it's a big change so, so like, yeah. Now mom and dad would go with me to tour college, well they're going to in like a few <laughs> weeks, I'm gonna go back down there actually, yeah. but yeah you are, you're coming with me to get my car That's thing. Right. Today I actually have like a reunion with some of my friends from the mission and I'm gonna be sleeping over with one of my bestest friends one of my companions that I had and so because of that they are not coming on this little trip because then we had to drive two cars and so yeah so this should be interesting let's hit the road look at this traffic ah! all right I'm headed over to campus right now but the traffic is so crazy, so I'm just like inching forward. Also, whoa, that's so bright. I had like an apartment tour scheduled. I was gonna go and look at some potential apartments that I was looking into down there, but they ended up canceling. They texted me and they were like, well, we actually don't have an apartment for you to tour right now, so <laughs> that ended up being rescheduled. I'm kind of glad it was because I left like 45 minutes early and I'm already like 30 minutes late. Okay, I'm parked, but um, that traffic was crazy. And I don't know if you could tell, but it's literally getting dark now. So the mission reunion that I am going to actually starts like right now. So I'm gonna go to that. And I guess we're gonna have to postpone touring campus for tomorrow. That's the update. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning! It's the next day. It's Saturday now. Um, time to go to our campus. The OOTD of today. Brigham Young University shirt. Cargo pants. <laughs> Can I even get these shoes in there? So on campus they do have like guided tours where you can have a tour guide take you around on like a little golf cart and everything. But you have to book those in advance. And I didn't know that it needed to be booked in advance. So now I'm just gonna be doing a self-guided tour. So that's the plan. We're gonna get to walking and I'll take y'all with me. Okay, I am in the visitor center now. I just barely got a little tour guide pamphlet and everything. This visitor center is pretty cool though. It basically explains kind of like the mission of the school and um, just how it got all started and everything like that. There's like little videos and everything going on and it's crazy. It came on a Saturday, but literally no one's here. Like I have, I swear the entire campus to myself, or at least all of the buildings and everything. Like I haven't seen pretty much anybody except the workers. There's also this really cool like overview display of the entire campus. Let me show you. I'm not gonna lie. I was feeling kind of weird driving up here all alone. It was like, 
I don't know, kind of making it real for me. And I got a little nervous and like sad thinking that I'm actually gonna be moving out again and like living on my own and just starting college life. That's gonna be so crazy. But now that I'm here, I feel a lot better. And I just, I don't know, it just feels like peaceful and it's really pretty. And I really like that everything is focused on Christ because that's what I was really looking for. I really wanted just an environment that I feel like I can just be super centered on Christ. And so I just, it feels a lot better being here now, but the drive up here was so weird. I was like, I can't believe that I'm actually at this phase where it's like real now. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we started here. So now that we went to the visitor center, we're gonna go to number two. Here's the business building, ta-da! <laughs> wow. You can hear my voice is echoing. <laughs> I'm literally the only one here. <laughs> That's so awesome. <laughs> so there were a few reasons why I decided to go to BYU for college. One of the reasons was because I knew they had a good business program, which is a major that I'm actually looking into. I'm not like decided on what I actually want to do yet, but I do really like entrepreneurship and I like business. And so this really caught my attention and I'll probably end up taking some classes here. So this is pretty fun. This is really cool to see. I like this building a lot. Can you picture me studying here? I think next on the tour is the athlete building. So that should be pretty fun to go and see what that looks like. There's so many buildings. Like this would literally take me all day. But y'all, it's been like three years since I've been in school. And so I'm a little nervous because I don't remember how to do math. It'll be good though. It'll be good. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Look at this room, this is so fancy. Whoa, it's so big. Um, I definitely think everything is locked and closed, but at least there's some cool pictures like look at. I think it'd be so much fun to take dance classes again. If you don't know, I used to do ballet and it was so fun, but I haven't done it for a while. So at this point, I'm really just wandering around <laughs> because I'm not exactly sure what I should look for or what I should like go tour. So I might give Audrey a quick call because she went to school here and she's the pro. She knows where everything is, so. Hey, Audrey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, okay, I have a few places I think it would be fun for you to explore on campus. You might have to walk a little bit, but you can do it. So my favorite building of all time on campus where I would go and do my homework and study was actually the science building. Science, okay. I think it, another place you should definitely go to is the Wilkinson Center. That's like the main hub, I guess. That's like where all the food court restaurants are. Um, there's like just this giant area that people would go and eat and also do homework and hang out. So the Wilkinson Center is kind of like in the middle of campus. And then third place you should go to at the end of the day is definitely BYU Creamery. Oh. Get some ice cream. <laughs> yes. I like that plan. That's good. Well, thanks, Saj. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. That's fun. <laughs> okay, I'm this gonna is your pause like, the camera. first building. Okay, the next place that we're going is straight to the science building, like how Audrey recommended. I'm excited to see it because I've actually heard a lot about this building from her. It's supposedly really cool and you can like, the observatory is her favorite and so, I don't know if I'll be able to be in the observatory, but that'll be fun to see. I don't know what happened, but something tells me that we are not in the science museum. <laughs> I think we ended up in the museum somehow. I honestly have no idea how I got here, <laughs> but. Woo, that's pretty fun. <laughs> this is giving me high school flashbacks. That's a bowling. <laughs> I don't know how I got lost, but like, <laughs> I'm in this random building now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I just walked 15 minutes over here to find this building. I'm pretty sure it's closed because I'm pretty sure there's construction. No. <laughs> Wait, it was all a prank, it's actually unlocked. 
and it's not under construction, so that's so good. So I feel like I'm in like a sci-fi movie right now. Look at this. Feels a little spooky in here, but maybe it's just because I'm at the wrong side of the building. Yay! We made it. That was like a 15 minute walk. <sighs> I'm starving. I'm trying to find, oh, right there, the planetarium. Okay. Thank you so much. <sighs> Okay, I see why Audrey loves this building. Look at that, that's so cool. This is the planetarium. Oh my goodness. Wait, y'all, that was so kind. That was really cool. So apparently the planetarium and everything is closed because, well, it was just closed up because there's no classes and stuff going on right now, but there was a really nice guy that let me go see it really fast and film it for y'all. So shout out to him, that was cool, that was very kind. Whoa, okay, this is all part of the science center. This is Audrey's favorite building. I can see why this is her favorite, it's so cool. I got Chick-fil-A. Cheers! <laughs> My order switches every time, but today, I was feeling their wraps with fries, obviously. It has been a long day. Ooh. Touring campus today was really fun. It was cool to see where everything was and just like, <gasps> no, I almost just spilled it all. Currently, I am on the lookout for housing. So I'm trying to find like where I'm going to stay. I have my roommate. She's so awesome. I'm so excited. She's so fun. But yeah, we just need to figure out a place to live now. You didn't know that you signed up for a mukbang when you clicked on this video. <laughs> I did stop by the mall over here because the mall here is so much better than the one back at home. And so I literally spent like an hour just in the mall looking at all the different clothes. But my problem is, is I think I'm just too picky because I found nothing. And it's so rough because I need like pants like I need new jeans and everything because my old ones don't really fit me very well anymore <sighs> so that's a struggle if you have any clothing recommendations comment them down below because I am currently on the lookout for cute but comfortable clothes <laughs> one thing I am excited about though um for being at Provo is I feel like a lot of my friends will are here like from my mission and everything and so I'm super excited to see them again and to be in the same area so we can actually like hang out and do stuff. I feel like that's what really makes or break your college experience. Okay, I'm just rambling on at this point. I really don't know because I haven't been to college yet, but this is my assumption. I feel like what really makes or breaks it is your social circle and just like the friends that you have around you and the quality of the friendships. That and I feel like your teachers, I feel like that would be a huge one. Like if you have, if you have good teachers, that can kind of just give you a passion for whatever you're going into because because their excitement about the topic kind of I feel like ignites your own excitement about the topic or at least that's how it is for me and so I'm definitely gonna be using Audrey's advice and all of y'all's advice to use rate my professor and figure out what classes would be best also also I'm so excited to go apartment shopping or like dorm decor shopping I'm so excited my Pinterest board is popping up right now I think this next period of life is going to be crazy. I'm in my 20s now, going to college, doing a bunch of random adult things, and just, it's a lot of big changes. Like, I feel like lots of crazy stuff is happening, just, and it's just a lot of big changes. So I'm excited to document it and... I feel very thankful to have y'all along on this ride with me, navigating my 20s, going through these this crazy period of my life where I'm trying to figure everything out. And so, thanks for coming along with me. I've got quite the drive back home, so I'm gonna turn on some talks because I like to listen to little like inspirational gospel talks. I'm gonna turn that on and get driving back home, but. 
thank you all so much for watching this video thanks for coming with me for touring campus with me i hope you have a good rest of your day and i'll see you next week bye